guys and welcome back to the channel today's video is about how i packed and moved our stuff from sendai and i'm also showing you the flat where we used to live in sendai so it's kind of like a home tour video as well and you can also see i had a very good little helper editing the video and looking at these footages just makes me feel nostalgic about living in sendai and i'm so grateful that i could experience life in japan in different cities within two years it's just so crazy by the way we didn't hire a moving company because their prices are fixed even if you have very small amount of stuff to move so we didn't have furniture and the crazy big stuff so we settled with the post office moving service and that was much better price wise and workout stuff some books and stuff so <laughs> oh my god everything is a mess and yeah and my husband is singing but we have more stuff here more stuff here the entrance this is the bed it's gonna be gone more stuff here more stuff there but i will show you the flat once everything is moved out have to most of your stuff and you want to have some coffee in the morning and you want to use filter coffee but no filter is found then just boil some water put your coffee in your mug and that's it like this and then pour all the water and try to drink it without the coffee bye do you know who could be inside here in this box and how did this happen <laughs> How did you flip the box? Chucky. Huh? So this is the room where we used to sleep. Now someone is coming to pick them up because they bought them and that is show you the room after that. That's a pretty nice room. Hey Packages. Packages. Toilet. Toy. Packages, some more packages. So I just wanted to show you the flat where we used to live in Sendai. So we live on the second floor in Japan. Let's go in. Come in, guys. So basically, we have a room, space for shoes, as you can see, still there, and also. It's so typical to have that step up in Japanese homes where you take off your shoes. Let me show you that. So yes, we have like two rooms or let's say three rooms, but this room will be used for our bed or for sleeping or resting. And this is actually quite nice. I stored my clothes here. So the room is like this. We used to have our bed over there. It was actually a couch from IKEA, so a, that could be made into a bed, and it was very convenient. And I have my drawer here, or the place where I used to store my clothes. Yeah, and this is my place. Let's go more. This was the, or this is still the bathroom. Hi guys, so basically we have the bathroom now, we have a lot of stuff, we used to have our a washing machine there, some clothes, and inside here is the desktop and the shower area. Let's close this, and right next to it is the toilet, nothing fancy, just a Japanese electric toilet with some storage. And then we have one room here. And another one with a little pet door for somebody special. Let's use this one first. Who is that? So, this is the kitchen where I used to cook a lot and bake some stuff that you could see in the previous videos. It's so empty now. There's nothing in the cupboards, 
used to have my rice cooker there and my coffee machine. We still have the fridge that's going tonight. And then the living room area. We have this couch now. Some stuff. Everything is gone. And this is so cool, guys. Like, you could see like it's a wall, right? You would imagine or you would think. But let me show you something cool. Show you something that I think is like regular in Japanese homes. So, are you ready? Are you ready, guys? So, who is that? Who is that? Did you sleep <laughs> on my luggage? He does this all the time. But, guys, this is like a room separator. That's so cool. We usually have this open like all the time. Uh, yes, but I think it's it's very cool in Japanese homes. So basically, yeah, this is our flat. I would say that for Japanese perspective, it was pretty spacious, like three rooms or two huge rooms for two people. It was amazing. The downside was for me is that it's outside of Sendai. It was in Izumi and even Izumi station, the underground station is 25 minutes on food. But this is our flat and we enjoyed it a lot. And it's so crazy that we are living after almost two years. And this is my very first city in Japan where I have lived so far. And I'm really excited about Fukuoka and I cannot wait to, to go and share more videos and photos on my Instagram. So yeah, um, see you in Fukuoka or on the airplane. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's my stuff. You, raccoon. Tanuki. Tanuki. Did you sleep well? Say bye. Bye. So here I'm just showing you once again the living room and the other room that we used. So if anyone can remember my video when we went to Zao, the daffodil field, and I have planted some flowers. Look, they have dried off the upper part in the summer after they bloomed and I wasn't sure if it's gonna be like okay and uh, it seems to be fine it started to to grow again so i'm taking this to Fukuoka and i will plant it there in my garden Yay. Wow. what's up you don't want to leave Before leaving Sendai, I was just enjoying the snowy mountains in the distance from the Sendai airport. And to be honest with you guys, this was the scariest flight in my whole life. And believe me, I have had a couple of long haul flights, but this short haul flight was the scariest. The plane was so small and that day the wind was crazy but i survived and i will just leave you with a big thank you for watching this video and here you go with some extra cat video bye guys and have a nice day see you